Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And today I'm pumped, I'm really excited to dive in. And I wanna update an older video today and talk about the cost of a Christmas light display, an animated Christmas light show. Um, because a lot of things have changed in the past year or two. And um, I just wanna you know, make some sense out of it. So what I'm gonna do in this video, and I know this is somewhat oversimplified, but we're gonna try not to simplify it too much, we're gonna try to keep it accurate, is I'm gonna build a basic to intermediate size show, I don't even know, here in X Lights, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add all the stuff to carts in from the various vendors, and add up the totals, and look at what the cost is per pixel of an animated Christmas light show in 2024. Now, a couple caveats as we get started. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna stick with like coral props, maybe a mega tree, but no permanent pixels. Coral props, pixels, maybe a mega tree, uh, controllers, just see where we end up. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so first things first, I just built a blank layout in X Lights. I'm not even gonna bring in a house picture, and I'm just gonna start laying out some really basic stuff here. Okay, so you know what? Let's start with a mega tree. Why not? So we're just gonna do a mega tree and we're gonna call it, you know, a 12 or something tree. Uh, we're gonna make it 180 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and make it, let's see, I'm thinking a 16 by 100 tree. And so that's 1600 pixels there. Okay, cool. Um, then let's go ahead and do some Boscoyo Studio. They are obviously the originals of Cora. And I've, I've always been a big fan of them. Um, of course, there's other places, which is all downloading because I just did the latest. Um, but, um, oh, there's a DMX fixture library now. Guess I should look at that. Um, <laughs> anywho, uh, but we're going to go in here and just stick with Boscoyo and grab ourselves some wreaths maybe. I'm not a big wreath person. I like snowflakes. I've always been a big snowflake person. Bonus points if there's one with an even number of pixels. Ha ha ha, I kid, kind of. Um, let's just go with this one. And so let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. So they would normally be spaced out, but here we don't really care because we're just talking about the cost. And then maybe we do some icicles, right? And one set is 80 pixels. And so let's just do three sets of those. Um, and then... We could do moving heads, but we're gonna keep that out of it. Stars, window. Maybe we'll do some windows. Just stick with the default dimensions. Six of those. Okay, so here we've got a pretty good starting point. Um, I would say, just as a general, general note when it comes to shows, is that um, it's always going to be more cost effective the larger your show gets, meaning your cost per pixel is pretty much always going to go down. Okay. And we're just going to do some broad generalizations here. Um, but let's just say I start adding in some controllers here. And so I'm going to add in a Culp because they are my favorite right now. And the K16 I like is kind of my main show controller. And then let's load that baby up with all the props. And so first we'll start with the mega tree. So boom, that's the first 16 ports, which works on a K16 because you have 16 local ports and then you end up having um, remote ports for the, the back 16. Um, so then we've got some smart receivers. And so let's go ahead then and so these are 96 each. So if I run them at a pretty low percentage, I can do two on a port all day long. 
By the way, if you're new to this and this is like mind blowing to you, um, go ahead and check out Learn Christmas Lighting Academy. It is uh, where we teach everything A to Z how to do this stuff. We keep it updated every year, which we're slightly behind on, but we'll get there. Um, in fact, I could run I could run three of these. Just saying, you know, um, location is no object. But hey, I could fit this all into one K32 with smart receiver or K16 with smart receivers, which is pretty stinking cool. Um, so let's go ahead and start buying everything. Okay, so over here to a web browser. First thing I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and look at all of my pixels. So there is a place where you can go to export controller connections. That might be it. Yep, you get an Excel file. So I'm just gonna stick that in my download so it's easy to get to. Ah, oh, look, there's one in there. And I wanna know pixel count, pixel count. I mean, those will match up. And then I'm gonna quick go to Google Drive and just open up a new sheet. Import that baby, or I guess I could technically open it as an upload. Cool, that's gonna let us know all of our pixel counts. While that uploads, I'm gonna go to Boss Koyo Studio and I'm gonna shove X lights to the other window just so that I can look at it. Awesome, so we have for ourselves a chroma flake and we're gonna go relatively inexpensive here and so we have a chroma flake 36 three prong and we have 10 of those so 36 three prong add to cart then we're gonna go ahead and do a window frames. Um, I'll do the, uh, or let's do the mega tree. So we'll do the mega tree strip. And just off the top of my head, um, if I do the mega tree mounting strip, and let's just say we're gonna go inexpensive and let's just do the Boscoyo mega tree kit here and then, of course, the only thing this would not include is a pull, which this will tell you that you can do. This will tell you the type of pull you need. It'll probably be, I don't know, let's just say it's 100 bucks total, so 40 bucks more for the pull. Um, but I need my, my mounting strip for my mega tree. Perfect. Um, and I can't remember, I think a 500 foot roll should be able to do well if it's a 16 foot or it's a roughly 10 foot tree so let's say that's 12 by 16 yeah that's 192 feet um, so it might fit in that 200 feet honestly just doing the quick math at one inch okay then i need uh window frames and so since we're going all Boscoyo, um you know i do really like the gilbert window frame product so we're just gonna pull that up and find my trim I should just search nope um, it's the HD pixel trim and they have this nice starter kit which it gets you you know roughly a window so i'm just gonna go and order six of those because i had six windows again this is a approximation but it does get us in the ballpark okay cart so we've got trim that 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 awesome so now we've got all of our carts and what we're gonna do is oh i thought i really wanted my pixel separate uh let me see if there's a better export for me real quick over in the other window 
controller exports. Okay, I went to tools export models this time. I think that's going to be a better, oops, better option. Yeah, it's got my node count. Beautiful. Beautiful. And so now I know how many pixels I need. And just for the sake of, you know, my last video and whatever else, um, we're going to do this as a all Evo show. Or maybe we'll do it as all bullet. Evos are a little cheaper. You know what? Let's compare it. So it is 3,600 pixels roughly, okay? Now granted, say we do hundreds for that, so that's 10, um, say that's 13 plus 16, let's see, so 13 plus 16, just calculating it out, and then that's 800, so let's just do another 10 strings. So I basically need 3,900 count strings or 3,900 pixels, yeah, because it's, about 3,600 pixels. So having some extra, having some to cut strands with and not have to splice a ton makes a lot of sense. So let's go to our store above AVL, the Learn Christmas Lighting Store, which of course is right now is at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, but we're gonna be changing that fairly soon. Um, so we'll go to pixels here and let's first look at Evos because it's cheaper. I like them. They're easier to push in. Yes, they don't look quite as good, but I, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't quite, but you know, we'll get there and we'll be looking at some other new pixel types on the channel soon. But let's just say we're doing 39 of these kids, add them to cart. They're going to ship free. Um, and then extensions. Oh yeah. So 10 foot extensions. Um, let's just do 39 of those. I know that might be slightly overkill. And then the last thing we're gonna need, and I know I'm moving quick, and if you're new to this, you're like, Phew. but that's where our academy, our step-by-step -step guides and personalized help is right there for you. And so last I'm gonna go, actually, instead of Copelites, I'm gonna go to Wired Watts, just because Ken over there has this awesome controller builder um, that makes it really easy to get a price and get all the parts. Like if I do a K16A in this bud box and I click on it, then I get right away a price, which is 440.40. Okay, so now we can start entering stuff into a spreadsheet. So let's just go ahead, stick this over here. And, oh, you know what? Actually, I'll just go to my spreadsheet here. Just build a new page. And then we're just gonna start adding in total. So let me go, I'll, we'll pause this here and then we'll get right back to it. All right. So I've gone through all the stores, I've added my shipping information, and here's my total so far. So, so far, we've got Gilbert Engineering, Basquoia Studio, Wired Watts, and us above AVL slash Learn Stage Lighting Gear slash Learn Christmas Lighting. Yes, we're simplifying it in the future. And what we see is right now, if I do this all Evo, um, 3,900 pixels, even though 3,600 is technically what's in my show, our cost per pixel is 63 cents if I didn't mess that up, but I don't think I did. This looks correct. Um, um, 63 cents a pixel. So things have actually gotten a little bit cheaper. Now, what's missing from this? Okay, um, that's a great question. So um, let's just add in a couple rows here because there's a couple things missing. First is extension cords, plastic bins for storage, etc. right? You know, we're talking about we've got pixel extensions in here already, but we don't have, um, you know, like regular extension cords. And we might see, need some of those. We might need some bins to store our stuff, other things like that. So let's just put 150 in there. Okay, but you know, say that's like Lowe's or Home Depot, so no cost to ship. We're gonna need an FM transmitter. Now let's see, I, do, I usually, I really like the whole house FM transmitter 3.0. Um, and they are, oh, interesting, the Rolls one's only 200 bucks these days. Um, but the whole house one is 134.99 currently. Okay, so we're still at like 70 cents a pixel. Mega tree pull, we forgot that. Um, 73 cents a pixel. 
Cool. So that's with Evos. It's going to be a little more with regular bullets. Let's let's do that. So if we change out our 3,900 Evos for... Let's see. We had power supplies. Oh, you know what we forgot at Wired Watts? We forgot receiver boards. So we're going to just adjust that real quick here. Let's just bring everybody into one window. Um, so I just need to do smart... Smart receiver. Um, I'm just going to do these standards and I need, let's see, four. And then I would need four power supplies and four of these cords. Again, that's what's so stinking cool about wired watts. We'll just do Harper Freight boxes for them. So they'll be pretty cheap. So that means my wired watts total is now 688.40. Okay, this makes more sense now. And let's just say our shipping goes up to 25. Okay, so we're at 80 cents a pixel. Good times, good times. Simply put, the dollar per pixel is not all that far off that we used to say. For example, if I do um, resistor pixels in 100 cents, now, now, that's now 1118.91. About a hundred bucks more. So that's about two cents more per kind of finished pixel. So at the end of the day, you know, we used to say, I used to have the adage here that if you kind of DIY everything yourself, you bought it all, you know, you could on the low end get yourself under a dollar per pixel. And here in 2024, it looks like that still reigns true. Yes, there are always ways to do things more expensively, but if you're DIYing most of this stuff and I hit most of the essentials here, I really feel that it's safe to say you can still do an animated Christmas light display for under a dollar per pixel. Um, it means you're doing it all yourself, you're building all your controllers, all that jazz, but that's a really fun part of this hobby and that's what a lot of people do. And it's definitely, definitely doable to, to get under a dollar per pixel still in 2024, which honestly, I kind of find that hard to believe just simply because, you know, inflation, everything else has risen in cost in our lives, right? Uh, and so I, I'm honestly surprised that as I update this a few years later, we're still under a dollar per pixel all in. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this wasn't sponsored by anyone except us, really, uh, but, you know, ourselves, which isn't really a sponsorship. But if you need pixels, um, we have them here at the Learn Christmas Lighting Store. Of course, we've also got moving heads and all of it is at above AVL slash learn stage lighting gear. Links below. We'd love to help you guys out with all the pixels you need. We've got a whole bunch of them coming consistently. We're trying to keep them in stock as best we can this year as we grow, thanks to you guys. And of course, if you're new here, subscribe to our channel. We love to help people with their Christmas light shows and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.